A Model A was the car of the common man, the car for the people. It would make sense that Model A Fords would be a preferred choice of United States politicians, both local government officials all the way to the leaders in Washington, D.C. The earliest example of a politician being the proud owner of a Model A goes to James Cousins, a senator from Michigan. Cousins was one of the earliest investors in the startup of Ford Motor Company back in 1902 and was named secretary when the company was officially founded in 1903. He resigned from the company in 1915 and left his title of general manager behind, but retained his seat on the board of directors. In 1919, Ford bought out all the other shareholders in the company, and for his initial $2,500 investment, James Cousins walked away with just over $29 million. Cousins was appointed a U.S. Senator from Michigan in 1922, a position he held until 1936. This sport coupe was the first Model A delivered to Washington, D.C., and was sent to Cousins by Ford on December 12, 1927. Cousins Model A was engine number A35, a nod to the fact that the original Model A built back in 1903 that Cousins drove when the company was new bore the same serial number. On January 28, 1928, Senator Frederick Hale of Maine took delivery of a sport coupe and took the time to pose with his fellow Republican senator and their cars. Newton Baker was a longtime force in the Democratic Party and had served as mayor of Cleveland, Ohio before being appointed as Secretary of War during the First World War. Baker had worked with the Ford Motor Company to supply vehicles and equipment for the Allied war effort. Here is Baker with his 1928 Sport Coupe, which included accessories such as a spare tire cover and a moto meter. Sometimes, a Model A was a means of campaigning, such as this image of Mrs. Minnie Fisher Cunningham and a 1928 two-door. Minnie was a key member of the women's suffrage movement and a member of Texas-based women's rights groups. She ran for a Senate seat representing Texas in the 1928 election, but lost to the incumbent. Senator George Norris was a longtime politician from Nebraska that was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives for 10 years before being elected senator for nearly 30 years. He is seen here with his 1928 Sport Coupe, which features a license plate topper identifying him as a member of Congress. Model A's were popular with politicians even before they were elected officials. This 1942 photograph features a 25-year-old John F. Kennedy and some friends around a 1929 Phaeton in South Carolina. Harry Truman was a county judge when these photographs were taken in early 1928 at Ford's Kansas City Assembly Plant. He's flanked by Robert Barr and Howard Vrooman as they stand in front of a two-door sedan. In the rear, a couple of AA trucks can be seen, as well as the front end of a sport coupe. Another example of a Model A being used to campaign features this young girl as she sits behind the spare tire of a Model A Roadster that features a tire cover urging people to vote Herbert Hoover for president. But when it comes to politicians and Model A's, Franklin Delano Roosevelt is the elected official who seemed to have the biggest affinity for Henry's lady. We see him here in his 1928 Roadster. This image from July 1929 includes a note to Edsel Ford from his friend Franklin Roosevelt. Here he poses with a 1929 Phaeton. Here, FDR seems to be enjoying himself with the top down on his 1930 Cabriolet and a furry companion sitting on the seat next to him. Whether it was a local official in a small town or all the way up to the Oval Office, Model A's were very popular in all levels of government.